Hi, my name is Kevin Castle. I'm one of the wildlife veterinarians for the National Park Service. Our role is to help protect the health of wildlife that people enjoy in our national parks. Usually when you think of wildlife, you think of things that are pretty obvious, like deer or elk. But we also are involved with protecting the health of things that aren't quite so obvious, like bats. When we do take a closer look at bats, what we see is something that's very disturbing. There's a fungal disease called white nose syndrome that is affecting bat populations across the country. White nose presents a tremendous challenge to the agency, to the National Park Service in particular, because bats are so common. They actually are very widespread. They show up in buildings and in bridges. They're in natural structures like caves. The Park Service really cares about bats, um, not just because of their importance as far as ecosystem services, but their importance as far as species that we're mandated to take care of, to steward for next generations. They are a, a major part of the system that they live within, particularly as it comes to eating insects. They eat millions of insects on a daily basis. These are free pest control service that, that farmers are benefiting from all over the continent. Without those bats, the cost to agriculture could be really substantial. There was a, uh, a study last year that uh, indicated that bats actually provide billions of dollars worth of ecosystem services. And they actually prey on a lot of agricultural pests and they reduce the need for farmers and other people working in agriculture to use pesticides. Bats are just amazing animals and there's nothing else like them on earth. Here in this covered bridge we've got bats roosting up in the rafters there, uh, squeaking away, you might be able to hear them. Just a, one of many examples of how versatile bats are and how they can take advantage of, of many kinds of features, including those that, that we provide them. So bats have such an important role in the ecosystem for so many reasons, and not just natural, but cultural as well, that it is our job, it is part of our stewardship responsibilities to make sure that bats are here for future generations. The very mission of the Park Service is to preserve and protect and then provide for enjoyment. So we, we're supposed to take care of the resources that are here in the park, but also help people understand them and appreciate them uh, and learn about them. Even without white nose syndrome, some bat populations have been struggling recently. National Park Service provides a great way to keep an eye on some of those species. Here at Mammoth Cave, we have two species of endangered bats. One species is the gray bat, and the other is the Indiana bat. It's particularly important as them being threatened and endangered species that we uh, protect those particular species. National Park Service has over 300 park units that are scattered across the country widely uh, representing different kinds of habitats, different species of bats, different um, hibernacula types and environments. And they have different needs at different times of the year. Uh, during summer, a lot of our bats form maternity colonies. They're raising their pups and they like to be closer to entrances in warmer, drier spots. In the winter, when they transition to hibernation, they need areas that are deeper and colder so they can drop their body temperatures and remain in torpor. And so there's a whole different set of caves in our park that they can choose to, to meet those particular needs. These animals are, are worth saving. They're worth fighting for. They're really an important part of our collective natural resource heritage in this country. Bats are obviously important parts of ecosystems and they need our protection. In the next part of the series, we'll investigate this emerging threat, white nose syndrome.